Hello, friends. This Thursday, May 5th, is Israel's 74th birthday. We celebrate this day, Yom Ha'atzma'ut, Israel Independence Day, with Jews in Israel and Jews all over the world. Almost all of us have grown up with Israel's existence as part of our reality. It's hard to fathom that the state of Israel is approaching three quarters of a century, and yet so many of us take it for granted. In my own family, Israel was always incredibly special. My parents met as young Zionists planning to make Aliyah and settle in Israel. They were married in Tel Aviv in 1950 and, and even took a new Israeli last name, Eli Paz, a rather poetic translation of Goldblatt. They were all set to make their life in the brand new state of Israel when my maternal grandfather was diagnosed with leukemia. My parents returned to the United States in order to better care for my ailing Zadie. My father, who was a dentist, realized that what Israel needed was public health professionals. And while my parents were waiting to return to Israel, my father got a master's in public health from Columbia University. Sadly, my maternal grandmother took ill after her husband died and my parents' return to Israel was further delayed. The delay stretched on and on. And with my mother giving birth to my oldest brother, Bernie, and my father establishing himself professionally. The roots were set down and the dream of raising a family in Israel slowly faded. My parents continued to be major supporters of Israel and my siblings and I all spent summers in high school on extended nearly two month study tours in Israel. My older brother and I both uh, spent our junior year abroad in Jerusalem he went back to help out during the Yom Kippur War in 1973, and I returned to Israel as soon as I graduated from college. I ended up living in Israel for five years and met my late wife, Yael, there. My two sons went to Israel for many summers of their young lives, and my older son, Jonathan, took a gap year there after college where he learned Hebrew and got closer to all of his aunts, uncles, and cousins. I am very proud that Beth Chaim is hosting a happy birthday Israel party this coming Sunday, May 8th, from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. Now, I realize that it's Mother's Day and hope that some of our members can make it part of their Mother's Day celebration. There'll be a live band out in the patio, children's activities, wonderful Israeli food, complimentary Israeli goodie bags, and and much, much more. It should be a wonderful day. Tickets are $15 for adults, $10 for kids, 2 to 14 with a cap of $40 per family. So come celebrate the miracle that is the modern state of Israel with other Beth Chaim members and friends from all over the Bay Area. The party is, of course, co-sponsored by Beth Chaim, the Israeli American Council, the Contra Costa JCC, and the PJ Library. It should be a great party, and we hope you can come and enjoy it. I hope to see you there. Stay safe and be well. Shalom uvracha. Peace and blessings.